Hello friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. This is session 4 of MS Access Automation. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect UI path with MS Access using ODBC data provider. If you want to connect, you want to establish a connection between UI path and MS Access using OLADB, I will recommend you can go through my previous video, session 3 in that I have shown how to establish a connection between UI path and MS access using OLEDB using database file so I'm going to show you now how to connect UI path with MS access so let me open UI path studio now I'm going to use one activity connect activity so I'm going to use this connect activity so this is used to establish a connection between MS access and UI path so first to connect with the MS access we need MS access database so first I'm going to open this access this is Microsoft Access 2019 version and then I need one database so I'll click on blank database and then I'm going to select in location so let's say I'm going to select this one and then I can choose any file name, any database file name, so UiPath RPA underscore DB, right? And now click on create. So it will create a database file, this MS Access database. And now in this database we can have multiple tables. And in this each table we have a row, row and column, right? Now I'm going to show how to establish a connection between MS Access and UiPath. So first we need to click on configure connection and connection wizard then this time I'm going to show you how to establish a connection between ODBC data source if you want to connect using access database file you can go through my previous video that will help you now click on ODBC and this is the ODBC data source that we are going to use here we have a .NET framework data provider for ODBC so select that always use the selection now press ok and then here we have this data source ODBC selected now we need to directly go to the use connection string if you'll go with this you'll be getting one error so in the next video I will be showing how to fix that issue so to establish a connection between UI path and MS access using ODBC data source you'll click this you'll click on use connection string click on build and then go to the machine data source select MS access database that is the data source name click on OK and then it's asking you to log in so currently I don't have any credentials set up to log in into MS access database so I will directly go and click on OK now I need to click on this uh, that folder where we have the database available that file available so we have this documents I'm going to click on that sorry this one and then I have this database available here so you can click on that you can also you know select the uh, this drive and you can go to that location and you can uh, click on this database file and then press OK so once you'll press OK so you will see the connection string here and then you just need to click on test connection and you can see it is showing test result test connection succeeded right you can also see from the advanced you can click on that and you can see it is showing DSN MSS, MS Access database right and it is showing all this location of your database file name and this is the directory so this is the connection string we will we'll be getting here now click on OK so by this way you can establish a connection between UI path and MS Access you can also after that click on system.data.odbc and this is our connection string now we have successfully established a connection between UI path and MS access and after that you can start sending uh, any select a statement insert query you know delete query any query you can now after that you can send that once you established a connection between UI path and MS access now 
while connecting UI path and MS access if you are getting any error I will recommend you to go and watch my session fifth and sixth video in that video I have shown how to fix those issue if we are getting any connection issue so I hope you like this video please press the like button and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed and also I have started my new channel new YouTube channel Pande 2.0 you can search for that and you can support me there please subscribe that also thank you so much guys thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for all your support thanks bye